Mexican Peso. Welcome back, Super Gatins! Now that you have a background on how to complete the markup and markup percentage, we can now proceed on how to document a cost of production. Documenting the cost of production is very important because it will give a reference data on the materials used together with the correct magnitude. It will also help you determine the economic viability of the product. This will also serve as a basis for planning its selling costs. And lastly, the records of the cost of production will be of great help in making decisions. Let us proceed with these steps in making the cost of production. Step 1. Weigh or measure all materials and ingredients needed. Step 2. Make a necessary listing of all materials and ingredients used. It is important to note the quantity and measurement of each item. This step is called documenting. And lastly, step 3. Create a production cost with this data including items, quantity, equivalent measurement, price per unit, and cost. Here is a sample cost of production. Our product, scrambled eggs a la key. You will need the following items, cooking oil, eggs, and salt. For cooking oil, you need 2 tablespoons, which is equivalent to 30 ml. The price per unit of cooking oil in the market is 65 pesos per 1000 ml. To get the price per ml of cooking oil, divide 65 by 1000. Then multiply your answer to the equivalent measurement needed. Therefore, the total cost of 30 ml of cooking oil is 1 peso and 95 centavos. For the computation of the cost for eggs and salt, follow the steps you use in computing the cost of cooking oil. To get the total cost for this recipe, simply add the cost of each item. For cooking oil, the cost is 1 peso and 95 centavos. For the eggs, the cost is 24 pesos. And for the salt, the cost is 6 centavos. Therefore, the total cost is 26 pesos and 1 centavo. That's it, Super Gatings! I hope you have learned a lot from me. Till next time! Thank you, Teacher Tommy. How was your learning adventure with him? Did you learn a lot? Well, well, well. I guess we can now help Princess in computing her total cost of production and add a 50% markup in her chicken adobo. Come and join me as we complete this cost of production table for Princess. Here is the list of her chicken adobo ingredients. Here are the chicken adobo ingredients. Chicken, garlic, soy sauce, ground pepper, vinegar, and cooking oil. Princess will need 2 kilos of chicken and the price per unit is 140 pesos per kilo. Since she will need 2 kilos, multiply 2 by 140. Therefore, the cost of 2 kilos of chicken is 280 pesos. She will also need 1 head of garlic. The price per kilo of garlic is 120 pesos. Approximately, each kilo contains 20 heads of garlic. To find the price of each head of garlic, divide 120 by 20. Therefore, each head of garlic costs 6 pesos. For soy sauce, she will need 2 cups. The price per liter of soy sauce is 45 pesos. Approximately, each liter consists of 4 cups. Remember that the equivalent measurement of 1 liter is 1,000 milliliters. Therefore, 2 cups of soy sauce is equivalent to 500 ml. To find the price per ml of soy sauce, divide 45 pesos by 1,000 ml. Then, multiply it to the equivalent measurement needed in the recipe, which is 500 ml. Therefore, the cost of 2 cups of soy sauce is 22 pesos and 50 centavos. For the computation of the cost of ground pepper, vinegar, and cooking oil, follow the steps using computing the cost of chicken, garlic, and soy sauce. And to get the total cost for this chicken adobo recipe, simply add the cost of each item. For the chicken, the cost is 280 pesos. Garlic, 6 pesos. Soy sauce, 2 pesos.
pesos and 50 centavos. Brown pepper, 4 pesos. Vinegar, 5 pesos. And lastly, cooking oil, 2 pesos and 50 centavos. Therefore, the total cost is 320 pesos. Her adobo recipe yields 24 servings. To get the price per serving, follow this formula. That's it, Super K teens. To test, if you have learned something in our episode today, I would like you to think of an income generating project. Choose a product that you want to sell and prepare a cost of production. Write this on your answer sheet. You are going to follow this cost of production format. Let's have a recap of our lesson. In this episode, you have gained knowledge on the principles in costing, as well as how to compute for the cost of production. The knowledge on how to calculate the cost of production helps aspiring food entrepreneurs, parents, and home managers in keeping track of their expenses. It will be of great help in developing a proper spending pattern. Super K teens, let's see if you remember and understand what we have discussed today. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? This is a place where you have to answer correctly series of multiple choice questions in order to advance to the next level or question. There are five questions. Each question is worth a specific point. The twist of the game is that you are given a time limit for every question. You also get one lifeline, which is call a friend. This will be used if you get stuck in a particular question. If you already use your lifeline, and got the wrong answer, you have to stop playing the game. But you may still answer as a viewer and not as a player. Question number one is worth 200,000 points. Question number two is worth 400,000 points. Question number three is worth 600,000 points. Question number four is worth 800,000 points. And question number 5 is worth 1 million points. Let's begin!
Are you now a millionaire? Congratulations, Super Katie's! Amazing! I do hope that you have learned a lot from our learning adventures. How about giving yourself a great job, Clock? Great!